going to do today is some, some legato techniques. Legato, this is more for the advanced players, and uh, we're playing from the G major scale extended. This is 3, 5, 7, this is in the key of G, this is the tabs, 3, 5, 7 is on the 6th string, 3, 5, 7 on the 5th string, 4, 5, 7 on the 4th string, 4, 5, 7 on the 3rd string, uh, shifting to the 9th fret on the 3rd string, 7, 8, 10, 2nd string, 7, 8, 10 on the 1st string. This is G major, this is a G two and a half octave scale, it's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And that's one octave, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. G, A, B, C, D. So that's two and a bit octaves, I believe. Um, two octaves and a fifth. And we're, we're going to, finger-wise, it's all exclusively one, two and four. Keeping the third one out of the way. One, two, four, symmetrical scale, two of these. One, two, four, one, two, four. Shift with the fourth finger. One, two, four, one, two, four. I've done this in a previous lesson showing the G major scale. That would be E shape, extended version. Anyway, the, the premise of this lesson is about getting more of a legato sound, so where you're hammering on. So you're going to hammer on in sixes. So one, two, three, one, two, three, triplets, two triplets. Cycle around those and do it on the next and then up to shift up to the seven eight ten and the opposite way pull. This is more now to do with like, hammering, pulling off. So you're going hammer up six notes, then pull off, keep the momentum of uh, the, the, that cycle. What you're doing is you're plucking it once, on the six, plucking it again on the fifth, but pulling off and keeping the momentum. So you're only plucking it twice. There, on the first note on the G. Go up, little uh, idea of going up, say, go to three, excuse me. So you're going to go to there. So we went up, six and back, then up to there, then up. So get your hand really tight, really quickly. My, I know mine is. Right. Okay. Uh, and once you get, if you get that sort of legato sort of thing, try, try pl plucking it each note, you know, but with the hammer plus. With a slight muting. The muting is going on, uh, if you can have it with the right hand, just using the heel, heel of my hand. I've got Spielberg doing the uh, camera work for me tonight, taking the, his night off from this multi blockbuster. Film tonight. Should have had James Cameron, I think. Right, okay. Right. What we're going to do is, is just putting the heel there, there to mute it. Okay. And we're using this. It sounds like a a pop. What do they call it? A little uh, lollipop stick in a spoke wheel or a, a popsicle stick. If you're from the other side of the pond. So you get that. And what I'm doing now is uh, I'm just taking the middle section of. Now if we go back to the left hand and we can see there we go. I'm taking the, the, the middle part of the scale. And I'm hammering and pulling off. So you do those in the sixes or whatever. Uh, Getting that sort of thing. Call that staccato playing when you're plucking each note 
of uh, guys like you know Malmsteen and all those guys who uh, are fond of that more the guards though it's like uh, Van Halen uh, Alan Oldsworth any of those cats but okay so we're going to give that just keep that again. and how would that work that would be if you played a back in you know? E minor back in